All righty, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Dewpoint. Seems like everyone knows my name already. Uh, welcome to everyone on the live stream who's tuned in around the country. My name is Rob van der Bale. I'm one of the executives here. I'm going to be spending the next 45 minutes with you during this lunchtime presentation. Uh, we're going to go over what this business is, who we are, what we're all about. After the presentation, you're welcome to come speak to me, ask me any questions that you might have. Okay, so as you can see, we're a division of a company called Constantia Insurance Company Limited. Constantia is a registered insurance company in South Africa. We've been around for nearly 70 years. We were founded in 1952. We don't share offices with Constantia. They're down the road in Randburg. Uh, that's the branding that they use. Uh, the FSP number that we operate under is that one over there. That's very important. That's our license to operate in financial services in South Africa as an insurance company. If you notice above the uh, water cooler outside in the foyer, you'll see we've got all these certificates up on the wall. Those are our financial services board licenses. So you can go check those out there or you can go to our website. You'll see them uh, on display on our website. We take credibility very seriously here at Dewpoint. We've got a long and short term insurance license. We've got an investment license. We've got our FSP license. So go take a look at those. Those are a stamp of credibility. And as I said, um, or as I imagine, as guests, you need to trust the business we're going to be speaking about this afternoon. And that's obviously very important. So go take a look at that. The managers and executives are these people up on screen. Uh, the first three people are all registered chartered accountants. We're a financial services provider. So you would imagine we've got lots of accountants in the business. We do. Uh, so um, Mr. Brendan Benfield is our senior executive. He heads up this division. He's got a lot of experience in financial services, particularly in insurance, uh, because he's been involved in the industry uh, pretty much his entire life since the day he was born because his father is a professor of insurance. His father founded Clientel Life, I think, in 1989. His father founded the IFA. Um, Brendan and his brother Stuart followed in their father's footsteps and together as a family and some investors, they founded a business down the road from us called Prime Meridian Direct or PMD. And PMD is almost 10 years old. They Fourth, uh, the fourth biggest short-term insurer in the country already. So we've got some great financial and insurance pedigree in the Benfield. So we're very lucky to have him heading up the business. Tim and Stacy, they look after the auditing, the regulatory and the accounting requirements in our business. Tim is very experienced in corporate banking because he was with the First Rand Group for about 15 years. Uh, we reported directly to the board of, exec uh, board of executives there, Stacy. She's been working in uh, auditing all her career. So she was with Deloitte here as well as overseas. Uh, before she returned back to South Africa and joined the team here. So those are the boring accountants. Then myself and Jane, we're the non-accountants in the business. Uh, Jane, who you would have met in reception, she's got a lot of experience in network marketing or referral marketing. She's from the UK. So she brings this fundamental international experience with her to our business. Because even though we're an insurance company, our growth is very much dependent on our ability to work in the network marketing space because that's the marketing channel we've decided to employ to grow our business. So Jane brings that experience to the team. And then myself, I've been working in advertising all my career. Uh, I now look only about 23, but I've been working in advertising for over 20 years. I ran my own agency for 15 of those years before I exited that business and joined the team here at Dewpoint. So that's a little bit of background on us and the business. Um, our mandate to staff of Dewpoint is to support everybody that joins us. So you might be thinking, well, I'm, I've come here to uh, look at an entrepreneurial opportunity. I'm going to be on my own. No, we want to see you as profitable and as successful as possible in our business because it serves our interest, right? Um, so I can say to you, we want to help you, but really we just want to help ourselves, but in turn helping you at the same time. Um, so know that everything that you do here, you have the support of Dewpoint behind you. Um, if you speak to any of the staff, you'll know. If you speak to any of the wealth engineers, should I say, you'll know that they know the staff here quite well because we don't hide in our offices. We very much become part of your lives um, and know that all the technology we've invested in this business is again to support you in this endeavor that you might be embarking on from today. All right. So uh, that's a bit about us. Uh, we pay quick quick cognizance to our economy. Sure. I didn't realize. I sat down and had lunch with a friend of mine uh, this week who is uh, moving to Hong Kong. And he's an economist of sorts. And he said, do you realize that South Africa's GDP is half what it was seven years ago? I said, there's no way it can be half. He said, half? Not a chance. And he brought up his, the graph. So he went to some website, showed the GDP tracked every year. Our GDP is half. Our country is producing half 
of what it was seven, eight years ago. That is a frightening statistic. But it makes sense because if we look at how much unemployment has been created in the last seven or eight years, you can now understand we've got 10 million people unemployed. We've got massive debt in the country. We see it in a lot of statistics, not only in financial uh, or in economic statistics, but I was looking at an article on people uh, on, the re uh, on property rental, and they were saying last month has been the worst month for collecting property rental because people just aren't able to afford to pay rent. And so it's affecting every aspect of our lives. We feel it personally um, because you will know at the end of the month whether you're making costs or not, right? Um, but if we look at inflation and we look at uh, people's salaries, salaries are tracking like that. Inflation is tracking like that, right? And you'll feel it because you'll know at the end of the financial year, you'll go to your employer in the hope that you're going to get at least 6 7% increase in your raise and your employer says, no, we're only giving 5% or we're not giving any percent raise. And so your salary keeps devaluing against the cost of living. And we try remedy the situation. We try plaster over this gap using debt. Um, which only exacerbates the problem. And that really comes to a head when you get to retirement because most of us, if you're like me, we turn a blind eye to what our retirement looks like. You don't even want to focus on your retirement. You keep thinking, well, for me, I kept looking into the future going, oh, no, I'm going to be fine when, my, when the business really starts making money or when this starts happening. Then I don't have to worry about retirement now, right? But the fact of the matter for the majority of South Africans when they get to retirement, like 97% of people get to retirement in this country to be deemed as financially dependent. That means you can't support yourself financially when you get to retirement. Um, they say about 90% of South Africans will get to retirement having to survive on less than half what they used to. Right? So they've only done enough in the last 45 years to secure a certain a retirement fund that only pays them out half what they used to. And so what this presentation is about is about remedying all these issues that we have from a financial perspective. Um, out of all of this negativity, Constantia saw the opportunity to create a division called Dewpoint, and we launched what we call the Dewpoint system two years ago, almost to the month. So last month in February, we were two, uh, two years old, and we've got aspirations in mind for the people in this business. So um, you might be thinking, well, I'm coming to look at this presentation just as a means to create something extra for myself. But for us, it goes beyond that. For us, personally, we want to create a paradigm shift in the economy. And a paradigm shift is a different way of thinking, particularly about money, about wealth. And so our first aspiration for people in this business is we would like to see people in this business aspire to becoming debt-free as quickly as possible. So that might be something you've never aspired to, because if you're in a debt cycle, you don't think, oh, I really need to start focusing on paying my debt or faster. You're just trying to survive, right? But through a business like this, we're hoping that you can aspire to paying your debt off as quickly as possible and becoming debt-free, completely debt-free. Imagine what it feels like to be completely debt-free. Do you even know what that feels like? No one knows what that feels like. The last time you felt debt-free was when you were 16 and still in school and your parents were taking care of everything, right? I think that was the last time I was debt-free. But to be actually debt-free, I cannot imagine how liberating that must feel. Because what happens is at the end of the month, you get paid your salary from your employer. You're getting paid a return from due point, And then your money just sits there. You don't get any of those SMSs saying debit order, debit order, debit order, debit order, debit order, debit order. The money just sits there. And then in the next month, it happens again. And the money gets put on top of that money. And it just sits there. And the third month, the money gets put in and it just sits there. So imagine what that feels like. What it actually does is it empowers you to start creating wealth. You have to become debt-free before you start creating wealth. You cannot become wealthy if you owe other people money. And so we create wealth, and this business empowers you to start creating wealth through the ownership of assets and investments that appreciate, right? Faster than inflation, not slower than inflation, faster than inflation. And that's really what the focus is on, is about creating wealth. But there's this paradigm shift that is required. And ultimately what happens, our third aspiration that we speak of is about changing your circumstances for you and your family so that you're happy. Because that's really what life's about, right? We always, we're chasing happiness. I promise you, if you're debt free and you're creating wealth in your life, you're going to be pretty happy. If there's other issues making you unhappy, I can't help you with those. Then you need to go to a counselor, right? But I'm going to try to help you with the first part the first two parts. So those are the aspirations in our business. How does this work? As guests here this afternoon, you have the opportunity to join Dewpoint. 
once you join us, you are contracted with us. And once you're contracted with us, we call you wealth engineers. As wealth engineers, you have a single task in this business. And that is what we call building channels of distribution. And I will be talking about these. If you're in this business for the next 30 years, we're going to be talking about building channels of distribution for the next 30 years. And I'll show you what one of those look like. But that's our primary task. Basically, it's you introducing more people to Dewpoint. Our online platform will facilitate the sale of products to those people. And that's basically how the business works. The benefit for you is you get to create additional income, obvious. The nature of the income is very important because it's a passive income. It's recurring income. My father, I love my father's, everyone knows what my father calls it. My father calls it making money while you're sleeping. Did you know that was even possible, that you can make money while you're sleeping? You can. Some businesses, like insurance companies, are actually geared to make what we call passive income. We've got something called a book value. A book value is the amount of value we're able to debit every single month, and that creates passive value for this business. Most businesses don't create passive income. They create active income. So like my dad is a gold miner, they only create active income. They have to go down the shaft, dig out the gold, process the gold, sell the gold to make money. Nothing they do in March is going to pay them in April, right? Nothing they do. In April, they've got to do the same thing. They've got to dig out the gold and do that. In this business, you can spend time building your channel of distribution in March. It'll pay you in April. It'll pay you in May. It'll pay you in June, July, potentially 10 years from now. You'll still be earning from the effort in March 2018. So this is a wonderful form of income to target. The power duplication. This is the leverage that we build into our business. So what does leverage mean? Have you ever wished that you could clone yourself? Have you ever been running around and so busy, you thought to yourself, if I could only just clone myself, right? A version exactly like me. That one can deal with the wife and the kids and stay at home, and this one can go to work. That's when you're sleeping at night. You're fantasizing about things that can never be, right? What that actually is, is leverage. So we've built the system to allow leverage or power duplication. It is your opportunity to go out and find people to help you build a channel distribution. Their efforts will in turn be to your benefit and in turn increase your recurring income. So if you don't understand the concept, I think it's explained quite simply in terms of at work, if you've got the manager of a sales team or you're just a salesperson. If you're just a salesperson, your effort is based solely on your effort, right? Your commission. You only get commission of your effort. But if you're the sales manager and you've got 10 salespeople and you earn just a little bit of commission from each one of those people, that is leverage. Because the sales manager next month can hire another 10 people and double his commission. And then he can hire another 10 people and triple his commission. That is power duplication. So we get to harness a very similar thing in the business. It's flexi time. You get to choose when you want to do dew point. You get to decide how dew point fits into your life. Right? So it's completely flexible. There's no startup capital or registration fees. There are no boxes of product to buy. We don't have starter kits that you have to buy. We don't ask you for any lump sum of money that you have to risk in this business to get started as a Dewpoint wealth engineer. There's no qualifications or experience required. We don't care about your set of circumstances. We don't care whether you've got matric or not, whether you've got corporate experience or not, whether you're just a housewife. It doesn't matter to us. All we care about in this business is work ethic. How much time are you going to concentrate on building this channel of distribution. You get to build an asset. Now, this is probably one of the most important points on this benefit slide, is that the channel of distribution that you're building, you have legal tender over. That means you own your channel of distribution. It is in your name. It'll form part of your asset register. So why is that important? Well, first of all, it's completely the opposite to employment. In employment, who gets a dividend check from the employers every quarter? Anyone get a dividend check? Anyone go home and go, oh, the company did really well this year. Our share portfolio is looking really great. Right? We never get to partake in the upside as employers because you don't have ownership in that business, right? But as employers, you have to partake in the downside. The downside is retrenchment. The downside is um, not having a pension fund. The downside is um, having to... Just suck it up when the boss says there's 0% increase this year, right? So that's all the downside. In this business, know that your efforts into building a channel of distribution are going into this asset that you own. It is going to carry on paying you beyond retirement. When you get to retirement, your income ends. This business, I mean, you're going to be 60, 65. My father's 75. He's just signed a 20-year contract with his employer, right? He works for a Chinese investment 
company that owns the gold mine that he works in. They don't believe in this you're too old to work thing that Western world has adopted. They don't believe in that. So they expect him to work for them until he dies, right? <laughs> He's quite happy because he loves gold mining. He's very passionate about it. But imagine when you get to 65 and you can still work for 20 years that your employer says no thanks. Enough, you're forced to go out and look for a job again with the other 10 million unemployed people. This channel of distribution will never retire you. You can sell your channel of distribution. We've already had sales. In the last month already, I'm, I, well, what I'm aware of, two sales have happened for various reasons. This business will survive you. It means you have the ability to pass wealth on to your children instead of debt. Right? And so I think... I'm hoping that people will be happy to sacrifice time. Because that's really what I'm going to be asking you. I'm going to be asking you to sacrifice time to build a channel of distribution. But I'm hoping we'd be happy to do it because of what we're building. There's no selling involved in our business. We contract you out of selling. You're not just allowed to speak about our products. You're not allowed to sell our products. That's a wonderful thing because the majority of us don't like to sell. Right? The nature of our products are financial. It means they're intangible. Like I said, we don't have boxes of products you have to buy. We don't have stock and distribution issues. Right? And that's a good thing in itself. But your success in this business is dependent on your ability to build a channel of distribution. So I told you I'll show you what it was, or what it looks like. It begins with you. You become a wealth engineer, and you are going to go out and find people to help you build your channel of distribution. Exactly the same way you've been exposed to this business. You are going to go to people and say, I've got a financial opportunity for you. With a company that's nearly 70 years old, creates recurring income, there's no selling involved. If you are successful in that process, and you've got these people, whether they be friends or family or strangers or colleagues, whether they, and they join, they become wealth engineers, they take out one of our products. That is the beginning of your channel of distribution. Those people that become wealth engineers will do exactly the same thing as you. They will go out and start building their own channels of distribution, in turn building yours. This is where the leverage takes place. Because you are earning off of every single person that has joined your channel from that point. This is the power duplication happening. This organic growth that takes place in your channel, which only happens after time, right? That's why if you quit after month one or two, you will never realize this. But this is what your channel can look like after a certain amount of time. We had our awards evening a few weeks ago. And Tim gave a beautiful presentation about wealth engineers that had come into the business, started and then left the business. They stopped. And that doesn't mean your channel stops growing. Those people that had left the business, their channels carried on growing. And he showed a diagram of what their channels looked like. They were 10 times the size of this. Right? So this organic growth takes place. This is leverage. Because how much effort does it take just to bring these people in? Make note that you bring quality people in at the beginning. You can't bring random strangers in that are low quality. Our natural tendency as humans is always to what we call sell down. Do you know what selling down is? Is when you go tell people that you think are lower than you what to do. You say, oh look, I've got this. You should listen to me because I'm higher than you. So that's a tendency to sell down. In this business, you never want to sell down. Because if everybody sells down, you end up with a very weak, unsustainable business. You want to sell to your peers people that you respect, people that you can work with, people that you can depend on, people that you believe will thrive in a business like this. Because then you'll create a sustainable quality business. But I'll have to give you all a warning because people arrive at a presentation like this. First, you might have the premise of, oh, I've been invited to one of those presentations. Did you think that? <laughs> right? When the person first spoke to you, oh, what's this person going on about? One of those presentations. There are many of those businesses running around, and they come and go. They fail. People lose money. We're not one of those businesses. We're a 70-year-old insurance company that's listed on the Joburg Stock Exchange. We probably work in the most regulated industry in the country. right? The regulator looks at every single move that we do. And we've got very reputable people working in this business. This is an authentic business opportunity, an entrepreneurial opportunity. And when I say entrepreneurial, it isn't for everybody, because as much as you want a business that looks like this, right? The pretty business that looks great from the outside. Anyone got successful entrepreneur friends? You guys need to start hanging out with more successful people, right? 
If you've got a successful entrepreneur friend, it looks wonderful from the outside, right? Because they've got, they always dress nicely, they've got a nice car, the nice house, nice spouse, the nice dog, everything looks nice, right? And you make the mistake of thinking, well, oh, they're so lucky, it's because they know those people or they did that. No. Any successful entrepreneur, that's what it looks like. If you take away the veneer, the romanticized veneer of entrepreneurship, that's what it requires underneath. Blood, sweat, and tears, right? And Brendan and myself, whenever we give training, we never tell anyone that this business is easy. It isn't easy. No business is easy. 95% of new businesses fail in their first year. But if you are willing to work at it, then I can say to you, success is waiting for you. So that is our warning slide. Like a traditional insurance company, we have got financial products. So I'm going to go over the financial products. You're free to consider one, two, or three products. It's completely up to you. It's a personal decision that you make. Our first product is an investment product called Access Wealth. It is 324 Rand a month, of which 100 Rand gets invested into a tax-free investment fund. So we've taken full advantage of the tax-free legislation that exists for financial products in South Africa. That fund sits with Sunlum. It is a no-notice investment account. That means you can draw your money out of your investment at any stage. Right? It takes us a few days to process the transaction, but you've got instant access to it almost. On top of that, we give you a little bit of insurance to the value of 120,000 rands with a personal accident cover. So investment comes with a little bit of insurance. Right? So if you're killed in a car accident, for example, you have this investment, we'll pay out your beneficiaries 120,000 rand plus what's in the investment. So this is the investment product, 324 rand every month. The second product is called WealthGuard. WealthGuard is purely insurance. So there's no investment here. It's just insurance. It's 299 Rand a month, but this time you get 1.2 million Rands worth of personal accident cover. The beauty of our personal accident cover is that it's available to anyone over the age of 18. We don't discriminate you from a health point of view, right? So you can be 75 years old. You can be diabetic. You can still take out this cover. It doesn't cover you in the event of illness or death through natural causes. Right? So that's important to note. But the beauty of the product is that it's available to anyone over the age of 18 without discrimination. It doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter what your health status is. The premium will always remain the same for everybody. Product number three is called Wealth Points. Wealth Points is kind of like a discounts program. It aims to save us money on the money that we spend every month anyway. So for 299 Rand a month, you get to enjoy the discounts we've negotiated with a list of partners that you see this. So I bet you you spend money with at least one of those businesses. Because we've got everything covered. We've got entertainment, data, groceries, online retail, beauty spas, all of it. Uh, car manufacturers even. Um, so for example, always on Wi-Fi data, if you go to them and ask for a gig of data, they'll charge you 100 Rand. But if you're a Wealth Points member, they'll charge you only 37 Rand. Right? So the discounts are different with every single partner. A brand new partner that we signed on uh, just a couple of weeks ago is Jaguar Land Rover Santon. So I hope when you're in line to buy a new Range Rover, you're going to go to them, right? Because they've promised us the best pricing and the best service in the country. All right, so this is how Wealth Points works. If you're looking for immediate benefit, it's a wonderful product to have. So like a traditional insurance company, we've got financial products. But what separates us from other financial services providers? So this explains our business model. Traditional companies like that, like Prime Meridian down the road, spend an inordinate amount of budget on marketing and advertising on a daily basis. I was just thinking this morning when I was driving to work, there are three different insurance companies that are advertising on 702 in the morning. Three different ones, right? So insurance companies spend a lot of money on marketing and advertising. Dewpoint doesn't spend a cent on advertising. We don't send, spend a cent. You won't hear of Dewpoint or see Dewpoint outside of this building. Why do we do that? So that we can take our budget and give it to the people that are telling other people about our business, our wealth engineers. We depend on you guys for our growth to go tell other people about it. And so we don't have to spend the billions that the insurance industry spends every single year on advertising. We can take that portion of our budget and attribute it to these two things, our returns and our, our rewards program. So these are the two things that allow you to earn at Dewpoint, right? So let's discuss the first one, the returns program. The returns program is the ability to make money here at Dewpoint. It is the recurring income that you're going to generate. It is the ability to make money while you're sleeping, right? This is our number one focus, creating recurring income. We pay a base return fee of 27 Rand 50 for every product that is in your channel, right? Remember the first five people you introduced to Dewpoint? 
Those people, that product lies on your first point because it's one point away from you. And on your first point, we pay you double 27 Rand 50. So you get paid 55 Rand for every product every single month. March, April, May, right? That's the recurring income that you're generating. Those people go out and they find other people. Those people lie on your second point. And on your second point again, you get paid 55 Rand. And as your channel starts to grow all the way down to the eighth point, you will keep earning. The multiplier drops steadily towards the eighth point. At the eighth point, you're earning 4% of the 27 Rand 50. So that's the 1 Rand 10 you see on the outside here. But we don't limit you on how big your channel can get at two point. We've already got wealth engineers that are going beyond point 30 already in the space of 24 months. Right? You can never realize that if you give up in month one or two. Can you see my reminder? I'm reminding you every time. If you give up, you never get to this point. But what's important to note is that because we don't, we don't limit you on how big your channel can get, because you'll earn the 4% from point 8 into, in theory, infinity, we don't limit you on how much money you can earn at two point. There is no limit. The onus falls squarely on your shoulders on how big you want your channel to be. People will then often ask, well, how much money do people in this business earn? Is it worth my time to build a channel here at two points? So what we did was we built a projection over the next five years. It is based on a premise, so the projection is based on a growth formula. We call the growth formula three plus two. It assumes in your first month here at two point, you can refer three people successfully to two point, right? And then every consecutive month thereafter, you only bring in two. So three in the first month, every other month, two. So March three. April 2, June 2, April, May, June, July, 2, 2, 2. You keep bringing two people into the business. If you can do that, after six months of work of doing that 3 plus 2, you can expect to be earning 2,500 Rand a month. Now, who thinks that's worth their time? Who thinks I'm at the right presentation? Because that's good money. 2,500 Rand after six months. I don't know if I've just got a thrifty audience here. <laughs> but most people including me, looked at the 2,500 Rand after six months and thought, well, that's not that attractive, you know. I mean, in my business, we were hiring out our developers at 1,000 Rand an hour. Are you telling me six months of work, I'm going to earn 2,500 Rand? So I thought, I said to the accountants, can you not come up with a better example? Just bump the number up a little bit, right? Otherwise, people are going to walk out. But what I learned in this business, because remember, as much as you think, yeah, I'm just here to earn money, for me, Personally, I've always wanted to create this paradigm shift. I've always wanted to make people think differently about money. And this was a lesson to me. Because when I look at the value of money, 2,500 Rand, I always give it a value in terms of a consumer value, a spending value. You give me 2,500 Rand, I promise you it's spent by tomorrow. It's spent by tomorrow because I know exactly there's a whole list of stuff I want to buy. Different numbers. You give me 2 million rand, I can spend it on that. You give me 500,000 rand, I can spend it on that. I know what I can spend it on, right? And 2,500 rand often represents spending value for the majority of us. Because we are consumers. That's how the economy wants us to think. So how does the paradigm shift work? Well, remember I said to you, let's aspire to paying our debt off as quickly as possible. That's quite a boring thing to do, right? To pay your debt off faster. But look what happens when you pay your debt off faster. Here's an example of someone with a 1 million rand bond. It is a 20-year term, so right, you're going to have this million rand bond, the bank gives you the money, you agree to pay the bank back over 20 years. At prime plus two, you're going to be paying 11,500 rand a month for 20 years back to the bank. And when you put that last installment in, so for me, when I'm 60, because I'm 40, when I'm 60, I make my last installment, I become a homeowner for the first time in my life as I retire, right? But I joined Dewpoint at 40, and six months later, I'm earning this little 2,500 Rand. And Rob said, stop spending, put the money into your debt. Pay your debt off quicker. So I take the 2,500 Rand, I put it into the million Rand bond. What is the benefit to me to pay my debt off faster? Because if you pay your debt off faster, you pay less interest, right? That's the benefit. It is the same, in effect, as investing your money. It's the same effect. In this case, if I put the 2,500 Rand into that million Rand bond, I'll pay the house off in 11 and a half years instead of 20 years. I've put 20% extra into my bond payment, but it's nearly halved my term. Right? That doesn't make sense. I put 20% extra and it's taken off 50% of my term almost. That's how compound interest works. We are all on the wrong side of compound interest. We are being leveraged by the bank. 
We need to get ourselves onto the right side of compound interest. That's why we pay our debt off quicker. It saves you, in this example, nearly one million rand in interest. The whole house nearly cost a million rand, right? You are typically paying on a bond over 20 years two and a half times the value of the asset. You can save yourself a million rand with just two and a half thousand rand a month. At month 12, you're earning an excess of 100,000 rand annually in recurring income, right? So that equates to 108,000 rand every year. Imagine you came to Dew Point just before Christmas every year and I gave you a 100,000 rand check to take home. Anyone get a 100,000 rand check this year, bonus? <laughs> this is 12 months away. This is doing 3 plus 2. You keep going. After 24 months, we're already at 30,000 rand a month now. You can't get to the 30,000 if you give up at month 3. Hmm? We keep going. At month 36, three years away, we had 50,000 rand a month. A bond example, at month 30, 36,000 rand a month, you can put that into a 5 million rand bond. You'll pay a 5 million rand house off in less than seven years. Hmm? So that gets, his, that gets my juices flowing. Because now I start thinking about creating wealth. I pay my first house off at the age of 47. I buy another house and pay that off at the age of 54. I buy a third house and pay that off at the age of 61. I'm now retired. I live in the house I paid off 14 years ago. And I'm renting out two properties. 60, 70,000 a month in rental income. That's the retirement you need to envision. You have to have the thought first before you can have the belief, before you can work towards the realization. It requires the decision today before you get to realize the fruits of your decision in 20 years' time. Or you can buy a new Range Rover. <laughs> There's options. At least you have the options, right? At 48 months, you're nearly 70,000 Rand a month. At 60 months, you've created for yourself nearly a million Rand in annual recurring income. Imagine you came to Dew Point at the end of the year, just before Christmas, and we gave you a 1 million Rand check to take home. What would your family say if you came home with 1 million Rand? 1 million Rand check. You came home, showed the family. They would think you stole, stole the money, right? <laughs> you stole the money or you won the lotto. No, it requires five years of work. Three plus two. Consistently bringing two people into this business, building your channel every single month. But this is academic. It's theory. This is just a theory, a theoretical growth model that the accountants came up with. You can be one of the people that give up after month two and you'll never realize this. Ever. I call that my zero plus zero club, right? But you can also do more than three plus two because three plus two is just an example. And we've got wealth engineers showing that doing way more than three plus two is more than possible. So yeah, we've got Natasha Weldrick. If the odds were against anyone in doing this business, it is against this lady. She's a single mother of three kids and works seven days a week on her own. Where does she find the time? Yet... In the last year, she's generated 10,000 rand a month in recurring income. In her second month alone, within the first 60 days, she was at 2,500 rand. 30 days later, she was at 3,800 rand. In January alone, her channel grew on its own by 100 products. On its own. In her first 42 days, she found 23 people that joined her first point. Ran Rumbi. They joined 10 months ago. They've generated over 10,000 Rand a month already. They've won the most monthly incentives. Their channel also grew by nearly 100 in January alone. And they are averaging, not 3 plus 2, they're doing 12 plus 12. And they've got full-time jobs. Yeah, we've got Shadrach. He's from Madadeni in KZN. Also joined 10 months ago. He's at over 12,000 a month. This man alone put 213 people onto his first point in 10 months. Right? And he also has a full-time job. 33 apps in one month. In January alone, he brought 33 people into this business on his own. Some people have only done that in two years. Right? Some of our successful wealth engineers. And he's won three of the, or has been rewarded three of the monthly incentives that we do. Those are the wealth quests. My point is, there is no reason that you cannot do this business. 
There is no reason you cannot do more than three plus two. We've got thousands of people joining this business every single month who have created additional income for themselves. And it all varies, right? Everyone is running their own race. You have to decide what you want out of this business because it is on the table for everybody. The million rand in five years is on the table for everybody in this room. You've got to decide whether you want it or not. So the decision is, are you willing to endure being a wealth engineer, being an entrepreneur, if you want what's on the table? That's the decision. The decision is not, do you want a million rand in recurring income every year? Everyone wants that, right? The question is, are you willing to work for it? Because not everyone's cut out for it. I'm not going to gloss over and romanticize this business and say, oh, it's, it's everything and it's so easy and you just do that. It is hard work. We deal with people constantly in this business. People will let you down more often than not. But our success is not dependent on the people that let us down. It's dependent on the 5% of the people that have the same vision as us. Those are the people that you want. You are looking for just the 5% to bring into your channel. Remember that example of the channel of distribution? That success, that channel was built on five people. And out of those five people, only four of them worked. One of them, did you notice in the example? The one didn't do anything. That is the question we're asking ourselves. Are we willing to do this? Is it worth our time? Is it worth our while? Getting started is very straightforward. Read our code of conduct. Register on our website. So to become a wealth engineer, all you have to do is register on the website. It takes you about seven minutes and you become a wealth engineer. But then you have to start applying yourself to the business. So we've got training available for you. So there's seven hours of training that form part of what we call our basic series. Go watch that. Set goals for yourself. If you do not set a goal for yourself, you are too scared to keep yourself accountable to what needs to be done. Very simply. People don't like to set goals. Either they think it's not worth their time or maybe they mull over. No, I've set goals. When I'm about to fall asleep at night, I'm thinking about the Range Rover. That's not setting a goal. A goal is something that you write down and you put a date next to it. Right? That's the only way you keep yourself accountable to the plan that you put in place to reach that goal. And then the basic activity of speaking to people. We can build the most perfect system in the world. If you are not speaking to people every day, it doesn't matter what the system looks like. Because that's the basic activity in this business. Is speaking to people, connecting people to Dewpoint every single day, every single hour, every single person you meet is an opportunity to get to anywhere in life faster. Right? We've got merchandise. Please consider getting business cards. The merchandise is not a profit center for us. These are tools that we designed that we thought would help you build your channel of distribution. Business cards for me is foremost. I cannot imagine anyone going to propose some awesome business opportunity and you don't have business cards. What do you say when that person says, can I have your name and number or do you have a business card? No, 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 don't worry. I'll tear the piece of paper off here. Let me write my name and number. You find me later, right? Hit me up on Facebook. We don't do business like that. Business is still done very much in a traditional sense. Doing business is always about relationship. And this forms part of a professional package that makes your credibility bump up a few notches. So consider getting that. We've got pens. The USB sticks are quite good because we've got videos on there so you don't have to use data. And those pins are only for people that are earning money in this business. The moment you start earning money in our business, you're allowed to buy a pin. So if you ask advice from anyone, don't go to someone who doesn't have a pin because you're talking to the zero plus zero club. Right? You don't want advice from them. The bigger and the brighter the pin the more experienced those people are. Join our YouTube channel, so subscribe to that. It'll tell you every time we do a live stream, every time a new video is uploaded. Download the mobile app. It works on Android and Apple devices. That app will tell you in real time what is happening in your channel. It is amazing software running on your smartphone because when you wake up in the morning, it'll tell you, like in Natasha and Ray and Rumbi's case, that their channel grew by 100 on its own last month, right? That's making money while you're sleeping because your recurring income will go up while you were asleep. So download the app. Make sure you do that. Very important. Um, a couple of notables in our code of conduct and also other things. You need a particular set of resources to thrive in this business. The business is not geared for everybody. We are certainly not targeting unemployed people. The business is not designed to burden the burdened, right? And so it goes without saying that if you cannot afford one of our products, the business is not for you, obviously. 
If you don't have access to the internet or you can't afford data, you're going to really struggle in our business. Everything we do here is online. There's nothing printed out. You struggle with transport, you're going to struggle because in the traditional sense, business is about relationship. You are always going to have to meet with your people, right? That requires transport. Don't ever complete a DuPont application form on behalf of somebody else. That's illegal, right? You can go to jail for that. Don't add direct family members that live in your household into your channel. We call it an anti-stacking rule. It was designed because people were manipulating the system in the past. It was a mistake we learned from. So we had to create this rule. If you've got family members that have left your household, they can be in your channel. If you've got family members that are living with you, they can't be in your channel. They can be in someone else's channel, but not in yours, right? Don't start your own Dewpoint Facebook page. This is our biggest bugbear. It's a huge pain in our side. Um, people think they can do this business purely through Facebook. You cannot. We don't have a single successful wealth engineer in this business that has gone out and started a Dewpoint Facebook page or advertised Dewpoint on one of these groups or classifieds that you find on Facebook. That doesn't work. That is for lazy people. I'm going to say it. It's for lazy people. Don't do it. This business as much as we've invested so much in technology, and you can leverage the technology to your advantage, you cannot end up doing business remotely with people that you never speak to, that you've never met, right? So don't do the Facebook thing. It's illegal, by the way, as well, because uh, you're not licensed as a financial services provider. Don't send Dewpoint uh, prospects unattended to our head office. So this speaks to just about the professional behavior in terms of prospecting, right? So you can see there's a common theme in everything here is that you can't find someone on Facebook and say, oh, go to head office, Rob or Brendan will take care of you. That is not the way to grow your business, right? You've got to find people that you look after. You've got to treat everybody the same with the same amount of professionalism if you want to build a successful channel. All right, so those are some of the don'ts to consider. Our monthly incentives, we call them wealth quests. So March's wealth quest is called Let Me Entertain You. In the month of March, if you're able to put 20 new Wealth Points program members into your first and second point, at the end of the month, you get to choose between a brand new iPhone, 100 gigs of data, plus an LTE router, or you can take 5,000 rands worth of travel vouchers domestically. That's on offer for just doing hard business in the month of March. We run a different incentive every month. You'll see on the 1st of April, a new one will be available. When I said Ray and Rumi had conquered the most wealth quests, they had done the most of these. They've got a pile of iPhones and iPads and TVs and data just sitting at home. Right? That's available for everybody while you're doing business. Just another incentive. For our rank fours, we have a 90-day challenge. So once you rank four, or if you get to rank four in the next 90 days, you get to partake in this incentive. We call it the 90-day challenge. 25,000 Rand is on the line. If you, in the next 90 days, can find five new rank twos on your first point, we will give you an extra 25,000 Rand. And if you achieve that, your recurring income will have gone up by 6,000 a month. So mid-June, you'll be paid 31,000 Rand at least over and above your current recurring income. So this is our 90-day challenge. You see it ends on the 31st of May. This is for our rank fours and up only. You want to get to rank four as quickly as possible so you can partake in these great challenges. So there was a second way to earn. Remember I said there were two ways, the returns program and the XP rewards program. This is our XP rewards program. You can see it as a big incentive program, right? When you become a brand new wealth engineer, you will start doing wealth engineer things like coming to presentations or doing home presentations. You'll bring guests. You'll sign into your app daily. When you do all of these things, we give you something called XP. It stands for experience points. It indicates to us how active you are as wealth engineers. And when you start collecting more and more of this XP and your channel is growing at the same time, you get to rank up in the XP rewards program. This has got nothing to do with the returns program. That's the recurring income. This is something extra. So if you join today, you will start out as a rank zero wealth engineer, right? As a zero wealth engineer, you want to get to rank one because you don't get anything for being zero. You can see you're not even on the slide, right? But all you need is 1,000 XP. You need four products in your qualified channel, right? So four people with products in your qualified channel. And if you meet those two criteria, suddenly you become a rank one wealth engineer and you get an extra 55 rand at the end of the month. Just a little 55 rand. So I always say, make sure you go buy a slice of cake and celebrate for yourself. 
Why? Why would you celebrate getting to rank 1? Because what you've just proved to yourself is that you can get to any rank in our incentive program. And you can get to any amount of recurring income. Because the people at rank 1 are doing exactly the same as the people at rank 20. The behavior, your activity as a wealth engineer does not change, right? And there are bigger rewards waiting for you. The 55 rand might seem small, but at rank 8, you get 20,000 rand. At rank 10, you get 50,000 rand, over and above your recurring income. We give tools that help you build your channels more effectively. That little USB stick is fancy because it plugs into anything. It can plug into phones, tablets, laptops, computers, all of it. And we've got our videos on there so you can show people the Dewpoint opportunity. Our business cards at rank 7 that we get manufactured for you at our cost of 12,500 Rand per set of cards. Because there's no ink on these cards. It's all gold. Right? It's manufactured by our old man in the Western Cape. He's the only person that can do it. Remember the Bibles in the old days used to be gilded in gold? It is the same process. The cards are four times thicker, so we use four sheets of paper to make one business card. Why would we go to such an extent for business cards? Because again, this business is very much dependent on your credibility and the first impression that you make with somebody. When I come up to someone and say, I've got a wonderful business opportunity for you, my credibility, in an instant, they've made a judgment call on me. They look at the way I dress, I speak, everything, right? But when you put a 12,500 Rand business card on the table, I promise you your credibility goes up because your business card costs 50 times more than what that person is. You could be speaking to the CEO of Anglo-American and he will say to you, my goodness, where did you get business cards like that? What is Dewpoint all about? These are tools to help you build your channels more effectively. At rank 9, this is our first recurring reward. So all the other rewards are once-offs, right? You don't get the business cards ever again. You don't get the USB stick. You don't get the 50,000 Rand again. But when you get to rank 9, you get to enjoy this every single year for the rest of your life. So take a look at what rank 9 is all about.
Rank 9 is an all expenses paid trip for a week to a five star um, uh, international resort with Dewpoint and your family. So we fi fly you and your family business class to our international conference every single year for the rest of your life. And it's not a business business conference. We have one two hour meeting in that whole week. Right? The rest is the reward of doing business at Dewpoint. And you enjoy this every single year. At rank 11, we spend a quarter of a million rand on a brand new car and give it to our wealth engineers. No T's and C's. There's no dew point sticker on the side. There's no return it after six months. You don't have to share it with another wealth engineer. You don't pass it on to the next rank 11. This is your car that you get. This is our rewards program. We are at rank 11. The program goes up to rank 28. Right, so we've already got rank 11s in the business in the space of two years. It is just the beginning. You might think, well, I've arrived because I'm going overseas business class every year and I've got a car. I am telling you, expand your mindset because rank 11 is just the start in this business. We have mapped out what we think is the next 20 to 30 years in this business for a wealth engineer. So that's what it looks like. That is everything that's on the table. Recurring income and the XP Rewards program. The decision for us is are we willing to make 2018 a year that can stand apart from all the other years? Or are we going to get to the end of the year and then Facebook about what a horrible year 2018 was to everybody? Or do we Facebook to all our friends and family, 2018 was an awesome year. And you will be Facebooking from the beaches in Mauritius. Because last week we've already paid for our trip in December. You guys have got nine months to get to rank nine. If you want to go on that trip in Mauritius, nine months. Half our wealth engineers got to rank nine in less than a year. One person got there in five months. So we know you can do it in nine months. The question is, are you willing to do it? Guys, I thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend. If you have any questions, come speak to me. And I hope to see a lot more faces that I saw today more often. Thank you.